Hello you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a big giveaway on my channel. So if you want to be a part of that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> my husband and I just got back from a two week tent camping trip. We do this every year. Now, unfortunately, I got sick the next day that we got there, and so I wasn't able to film as much as I wanted to. This is gonna be my last camping video, but I believe that we are going to be planning a camping trip in the spring, and so I will definitely do some more camping videos then, and hopefully I won't be sick then. <laughs> I think I just got a cold, and honestly, Camping in a tent can be so much prep work that I think my body just got kind of wore out from all the prep and so I just stayed in my tent for like three days and rested and that helped a ton. But for today's video and the last camping video, I'm going to be packing up our entire site so you can see what it looks like from start to finish. But I'm also going to be talking about some things that I'm going to be doing differently for next year's fall camping trip. So things that I'll not bring with me that I brought with me this year and things I'm gonna purchase to make it a little bit easier. So I hope this video is helpful. I hope you guys enjoy it, and without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Alright you guys, so while he cooks breakfast, I'm going to just kind of take you around my kitchen setup, and you've already seen my entire campsite <laughs> set up for this year, and when I filmed that, it was like, I think three or four days into our camping trip. And now that it's been a couple of weeks, I've kind of figured out what I like and what I don't like and what I want to add to my site to make it a little bit easier for next year and just make it a little bit more convenient. And so I'm going to just kind of take you around my site while he's, like I said, making breakfast and show you some of the things that I would change for next year's trip. And please just excuse the background noise. I've got my dog and it's kind of windy. But yeah, let's just take a bit of a tour and hopefully this can give you some ideas. But also, if you haven't checked out my campsite setup video, I will link that video down below for you as well. But let's just take a gander. One thing that will be different next year is we're gonna have two dogs. So I am gonna have to figure out a, some few different things for the, the dog winter next year. But I'll also talk about what I liked that I did this year and what I um what I would do differently. So we're gonna talk about that too. All right, so this is my Cabela's Deluxe Camping Kitchen. Now they've come out with a newer version that I like just as well. That has a really cool sink option, but I love this because it has the two canvas bags, and this is where I house all of our food. Now our food is just kind of placed in there and it's a bit disorganized so that's going to be the first thing I would change is I'm going to get clear plastic containers for all of our food storage for next year for things like canned goods and tea and spices and all those smaller items and snacks that way it'll be a bit more organized because right now I'm going to show you what it looks like inside these now and, and it'll make more sense why I want to get some better organization. All right, so it doesn't look too disorganized because this is our last day camping, so we've gone through a lot of the food, but I am gonna get some clear plastic storage bins to fit on all these shelves. And that way it'll just look more organized and when we want to see what's in each one, instead of having to dig through everything, we could just pull out the drawers. So that is definitely something that I wanted to do this year. Like I've been wanting to do that for a few years. And since we only go camping for two weeks once a year, I kind of forget about some of these things. So I did make a list and write everything down for next year of things that I definitely want to get that I just think it will make it easier. And I'll show you the other compartment as well. 
All right, see it's just like so messy. So instead of having our teas in these little bags, I'll have them in little bins that I could just slide out. So that'll be a bit of an investment, but since we're out here for two weeks, then we're probably gonna start camping more often throughout the year as well, not just once a year. It'll be really nice to have that extra storage space, or the extra organization, I mean. All right, so on this counter space, I have our eggs. Now, these are our farm fresh eggs, so we don't have to refrigerate them. And if you're going camping for a long time, I would recommend for you to find someone who has chickens and you can just buy their eggs. That way, that's one less thing you have to refrigerate. And this is the first time I, I brought farm fresh eggs camping, so I just set it in this basket on the counter here, but I will link down below the egg organizer that I found off Amazon that I'm gonna purchase for next year. And basically, it has drawers that pull out and, and you put the eggs in it, and it's a square container, and that way we could set stuff on top of it, and I just feel like that will be a little bit more organized. And this I absolutely love. I will definitely use this every year. This is from Pampered Chef and it's a utensil organizer. And all of our kitchen utensils that we use for cooking all fit in here and it's plastic so I can easily clean it when I get home. And I love it because everything fits in here and it fits snug. But I am gonna place this in a different spot. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna rearrange my kitchen next year so it functions a little bit better, so I'll show you that now. Next year, since I am gonna have an organizing bin for my spices, I'll keep my spices in my pantry. I won't keep these out, so we can alleviate that. And then I am going to just put all of our utensils up here just to get them out of the way. And then I'm gonna move the toaster oven I'm gonna put the toaster oven down here. That way we'll have all of this workspace to do all of our food prep on. But for this year, you know, we just have it right here. So I've got my DIY paper towel holder. I will link a video for how to make this down below. But this has been great because whenever it's really windy, the paper towel doesn't fly off. <laughs> it just stays secure in here. And then we have our Coleman lantern that's battery operated and I love this. We use this in the evening time. All right, now I'm gonna just talk about this section and some of the things I would do differently and some of the things I would change. So, one thing I love about the Cabela's kitchen is it has all these hooks for things like our flashlight. It's great to have a flashlight for when you use the restroom in the evening times. We brought two sets of hot pads and next year I'm only gonna bring one because we've only used one. So I'm gonna just condense it down to this. And I've been hanging all of our dog's leashes on this, which I like, that works great for that. Now, we did bring this mat, and this is just for whenever we wanna lay on the grass while we're camping, but I've only used it once, so I probably won't bring this again next year. One thing that I'm gonna add so this section is I'm gonna buy one more of these. I will link these down below for you. I got them from Ikea. They're great. We've been setting all of our water bottles and our coffee mugs in here, but we just need a little bit more space. So I'm gonna buy one more of these. And then in here, I have been putting all of our toothbrush and toothpaste and dental floss in these two little containers for me and my husband and then for Ryan. and. This has been great, so I love having these because it gives us a place to put those at. And like I said, these hooks are great for some of the heavier items like this big water bottle and then the flashlight. So it's just a few things I would change, but overall I like this setup and it, it just functions really great. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like underneath here. here. All right, so underneath here I have two three drawer compartments now i did bring these two extra hot pads that i didn't end up using so i won't bring these again next year i only used this glass plate i think twice so i won't bring this this is just an extra thing that's not really necessary 
And then I did bring these three cutting boards. So like a large one, medium and small, and we used all of these. So I will definitely be bringing these back and they just tuck really nicely into there as well. And then in here is where we kept all of our paper plates. And then we kept all of our forks in here and then all of our spoons in here. And I love this, this is great. And then these drawers are just all of those miscellaneous items like the sharper knives, the coffee filters, the lighters, I've got a pair of socks in here. Just a bunch of random things that you like to grab while you're camping but you don't want it to look cluttered so you don't want it all over your campsite. So I think these are highly recommended if you have a, a spot where you can just tuck them in here. And then under here we've got this iron skillet and we only used this once so we're, we're definitely not going to bring this back because we've got the black stone that we've been able to cook everything on. And then I brought a waffle maker which we did not use at all. We ended up just making pancakes so I won't be bringing this back. And then we have this to light our fires with. And I'll probably just house this somewhere different, just so it's not sitting on the ground like that. As well as this charcoal lighter fluid, I'll just find a different place. Just so it looks a bit more neat and tidy. Alright, so this is our sink area. And I love my sink setup. I wouldn't change anything about this. My husband made this cutting board for me for extra workspace and just to have an extra cutting board and it just fits above the sink perfectly that way when we're not using it it you know it covers it up it adds extra workspace but it also looks pretty and then I have this extra large drying mat I always bring two of these with some pan soap some dish soap and then I like to put water and dish soap in here and then I'll just use that to suds up my soap with. I'll link this down below as well as this extra large dish drying mat as well as a sink table for camping. And then we always bring our Berkey just because I don't like being wasteful and using bottled waters. I feel like that's so wasteful and so bad for the environment. Now everybody's different so I don't, I don't think that's bad that people that do that. I just have a conviction about it. So we always bring the Berkey. And, and plus we love the Berkey water so yes I love my sink setup I wouldn't change anything about it now I do just want to talk about these hanging baskets this is where I catch our fruit but I will link the hanging basket that I want to get for next year down below it's a three tiered one that way I don't have two baskets I just have one and it just looks more organized and I'll be able to fit more fruit and um, vegetables and produce and stuff in it better so these are cute but not super functional the way I would like them to be. So that is something I would change. I would definitely bring the toaster oven again. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I would bring that again. And you're gonna wanna bring several power strips. If you're on a site that has electricity hookup, these are great to have. And then these reusable zip ties. So it's nice because you can zip tie your power cords to a pole, that way they could stay secure in place. And they're reusable, which is great. So I love these. These have definitely come in handy on this trip. And now I'm gonna talk about my coffee station. So I have this collapsible tea kettle that I use all the time. It just collapses down to a small size here, which is great because it packs up easy that way. Now I just have this old coffee pot that we've used for years and it, it works great and then we always bring our milk frother so we can have frothed milk with our coffee which I would recommend. This is a game changer. And then I always just put our coffee in here with a scooper and I've been using this for years and I love it. And then I keep our butter out here because sometimes we'll do bulletproof coffee. So I bought this new this year and I love this butter dish. You could fit like three sticks of butter in here. And then I've got my spoon rest with my spoons and I love it. We use this every day so I'll definitely do the same setup. Then my husband drilled a couple of holes on the side of my kitchen 
and we screwed in this metal basket which has been great for coffee. We keep our salt here because we like to put salt in our coffee. We keep our stevia, our MCT oil, and our frother for when we do bulletproof coffees. And it's just nice to have a place to corral all of your coffee stuff. So. I love that. I've had this for a few years now and it's definitely worked great. Now I did bring my Instapot, which I'll definitely bring next year. We did use it. And then I bring this bucket, which we house extra cords in like um, power strips and extension cords and just all of those extra tools. So I, I love having this. I'll probably get another one of these to house some of like the the miscellaneous stuff you saw on the floor earlier in. That way everything's kind of a little bit more organized. Now, I did bring some cleaning supplies and I would recommend that if I got this basket from Goodwill, if you could find like just a cheapy basket at Goodwill, I have some Lysol wipes, some all-purpose spray, some bleach. I have definitely used these while we've been here just to clean off the surfaces and it's just great to have not only cleaning products but cleaning products that you can just grab easily so at home I like to make my own cleaning products but for camping this is just a lot easier so I would recommend something like that and then we have our fridge which we've placed on top of that plastic crate just so that way when the door opens it opens smooth and because sometimes the ground isn't totally even and then we just use that crate when we're packing up to house things in but the fridge is definitely a game changer this was 50 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace and it's great because it houses things like your, your sparkling waters, your half and half, your butter, your sour cream, your condiments, things that normally don't always hold up as well in a cooler. And then the freezer is great because this is where we've housed like some of our meals and all of our meat and so I don't have to worry about any meat going bad which is great. But yeah, I, I highly recommend a fridge if you are able to do that. Now, along with our fridge, I have this smaller cooler, and that just is where we put the excess overflow food in right here, and I just tuck it underneath my sink. Now, one thing I do want to talk about is this light fixture. I got this at Ikea for, I think, $17, but they have a larger one for $40 that I am going to get just because this canopy is so large that this isn't a big enough light fixture. It looks a bit awkward. So that is something that I'm going to change for next year. And then, I But it's been a great light. It puts off enough light in the evening times and that's really all I need. So I like that over doing a bunch of string lights and feeling like you have to bring all this lighting. Just one pendant is, is good enough. Sorry, my husband's cooking right now, so we've got some food right here, but this trash can I love. It's collapsible, it has clips on the inside to clip your trash bags to, and it has a lid that closes. So I love that. And then in the box right next to it, that is my overflow box. So that, so that has all the extra dish towels, drying mats, paper products, spoons, forks, bowls, paper towels, all of the extra things in case we run out. So to have an overflow box when you're camping is great. All right, so this has been Bruno's little setup and we just tied a really long leash around this tree. But I will link down below the leash that we're gonna get next year for the two puppies. And I just did this plastic water bowl and that's where I put all of his water in, which was great. And then I have this like outdoor dog bed, which I'll probably just get one more of those for the other puppy. And that was a perfect setup. He stayed in the tent with us at nighttime. Next year, I'm probably going to do a separate tent for him and our other dog and just have him sleep in a crate in that tent. And it'll be just like a small tent that I'm gonna get them with a little heater. But yeah, that way my husband and I will have our own tent next year. And that's pretty much all I would do differently, but I, I really liked everything that I did do for my dog this year. And I will link the dry shampoo that I bought for him down below. Um, 
we at just to keep him clean and and you know he also just took his baths in the water because the water's really clean here so he just played in the water and then I I just wrapped a towel around him and held him till he was totally dry and then did the dry shampoo on him and he stayed pretty clean so yeah do you like camping is it your favorite are you a sweet baby <laughs> So this is our table setup. The only thing I'm gonna do next year is I'm gonna have some cushions made for these bench seats. I'm gonna measure out these seats and then I'll just have my seamstress make some bench covers. That way our bottoms are warm when we sit down and we're sitting on like a softer surface. So that's it. Other than that, I love my tablecloth. I will link it down below for you and yeah. I just, I like the simplicity of this setup. This is what we have hung our towels from. I will link this down below. This is so much better than a clothesline. I think it's it's just super simple and it hung right up there and it was like really not a lot of work to hang that up. So yeah, I would definitely do that again. All right, you guys. So now that I've kind of gone over with you everything that I'm gonna do differently for my kitchen setup, it is time to pack up. This is the day that we packed everything up and we left. And once again, I'm so sorry about all of the background noise. Hopefully you were able to endure it. <laughs> but basically what I have my husband do is I have him pull out my two camping bins and I kind of empty everything out. And that way I know how to like fit everything from the tent and the kitchen back into those bins. And I have three bins total. So I have the two black ones you just saw and then my overflow bin. And I kind of just place everything in these bins. And then once I get home, I really go through everything and I reorganize it all. But the first place <laughs> on our campsite that I like to tear down is our tent. And so I'm just tearing down our bed. Now for our bed, I would not do anything differently. The only thing I would do differently is instead of having the two separate memory foam bed toppers, I would just get one three inch gel memory foam bed topper because I feel like the gel one is a bit thicker and for those hotter days, it'll keep you cool as well. But other than that, that's the only thing I would change about our bed setup. I love our cots. I will link them down below. I love our self-inflating mattresses. I love my bedding. Everything else I loved. And then for my clothing, I had to use my red duffel bag along with some compression bags. And so what I'm going to do differently next year is I'm going to buy a large black duffel bag like my husband has because I feel like two weeks worth of clothing will fit better in that and then that way mine and my husband's bags will match and this crate will not be in here next year because like I said I'm gonna get a separate sleeping arrangement for my dogs but this worked out fine this year and then another thing that I will get is a three compartment Sterilite like dresser you know like the plastic ones I'll try to find one and link it down below and that's what I'm gonna house all of my toiletry items that you see on the floor there behind me I'm gonna house all of those in there and all of our bulky jackets and things like that and as far as my toiletry bags go I think I liked my toiletry bags and I'll link them down below for you but I definitely want to think of an easier setup for when I go to use the bathroom next year and this was what I used for my nightstand. I'm not gonna use this next year. I'm gonna get another three drawer compartment Sterilite container and that, and that way I can go ahead and organize everything in them and then I can just use it as a nightstand and put it right into my tent because the crates were cute but they just weren't super functional and they didn't really look organized. I didn't like that you could see everything that was in the basket so I, I wouldn't do that next year. These fairy string lights that I just clipped to the clips on the tent, I am, I will use those again. I love those so much. I'll link them down below for you. Definitely get a rug to protect the bottom of your tent. I would do that again, but that's pretty much what I would change and what I would keep for my tent. And I am gonna buy a handheld vacuum. I'll link one down below for you for the floor of our tent. That way I can keep it clean as we're camping as well. But that's everything so you can just sit back and enjoy watching me tear down the rest of my site <laughs> with my husband and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and until next time i love you guys so much bye